my first grade. It's the Mrs. Knight. And here we are. We're going to read Junie B. Jones, Smell Something Fishy. What chapter are we on? Chapter two, The Secret About Twitter. So when we last read, Junie B. was in her class, Room 9, and Mrs. made an announcement that they are going to have a pet day. And Junie B. was so excited because she has a dog named Tickle who she loves. But then Mrs. said, no dogs and no cats, only pets in cages. So Junie B. was really grumpy because she was thinking a picture of a dog is not very cool. So we are going to see what happens in chapter two today. Okay, chapter two, the secret about Twitter. Me and that Grace rode the bus home together. I did not speak to that girl because she kept on being happy about Slicky. And so what kind of crummy attitude is that? I walked in my house real glum. Grandma Helen Miller was babysitting my baby brother named Ollie. Uh-oh, it looks like someone had a bad day at school, she said. I raised my hand very weakish. Me, Grandma, it was me. I am the one who had a bad day. After that, I gave her a paper from my teacher. It was the rules about pet day. Grandma Miller put Ollie in his swing. Then me and her sat on the couch and I waited while she read the paper. Oh dear, she said, you can't take tickle, can you? I shook my head real gloomy. Not even in a cage, I said. I did a sad sigh. <sighs> Where's the justice here, Helen? I asked. Grandma smiled, very understanding. Then she gave me a hug. And she said, don't call her Helen. I don't know what to tell you, sweetie, she said. Unless you get another pet before pet day, I guess you're going to have to accept this. My eyes started to cry a teeny bit. But mother and daddy will buy me another pet, grandma, because I already asked for a bunny and a goat and a bat and a rat. But they kept on saying, no, 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 no. Grandma read the rules again. Wait a second here, she said. Why didn't I see this before? It says you can bring a bird. I shrugged my shoulders. Yeah, so? So you can take my canary, she said. I'll let you take Twitter. I looked and looked at that woman. Then I patted her very nice and I whispered a secret in her ear. Yeah, only here's the problem. I hate that dumb bird, I said. Grandpa Miller looked surprised. Oh no, look, there she is. You hate him? You hate Twitter? She asked. I showed her my finger. He pecked me, Grandma. He pecked my finger, remember that? And I didn't even do anything to that guy. Grandma Miller made squinty eyes at me. You put a potato on his head, she said. I would have pecked you too. I smiled kind of nervous. It was a hat, I said real soft. After that, me and Grandma Miller sat there kind of stiffish. And we didn't talk for lots of minutes. Finally, I tapped on her. Do you have any other pets at your house? I asked. Any pets I'm not aware of? Grandma Miller laughed a little bit. Not unless we catch that crazy old raccoon that keeps breaking into our garbage can every night, she said. Then she laughed some more. And guess what? I laughed too, because that woman is a genius, I tell you. Uh-oh. Chapter three is called The Boss. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a little nervous that Junie B. Jones' idea for pet day is going to be now to go catch a crazy raccoon at her grandma's house. <sighs> Junie B. Jones. And why would she put a potato on that poor bird's head? I really wonder. <laughs> if you have any predictions, let me know. I'm excited to hear from you guys. Love you. Bye. Have a good weekend.